What up folks, it's Alex here, and today we're talking bokeh, or bokeh, B-O-K-E-H. It's the Japanese word for blur, apparently, and it's referring to this blurry, out of focus background, which is seen right now, which is caused by having a shallow depth of field. Now, there are lots of different variables which can affect how much bokeh you get in your photographs or video. And the one that gets talked about the most is aperture. So to achieve the shallowest depth of field, which will give you the most amount of bokeh, you should use a lens with a fast aperture. In theory, that is entirely true. But sometimes people get a little bit too caught up on it because you can actually achieve really nice bokeh with something like f5.6. Why f5.6? Well, f5.6 is available on pretty much any lens. If you're shooting on an SLR or a mirrorless and you've still got the kit lens, I guarantee you'll be able to shoot at f5.6. And in fact, all of that B-roll you saw at the beginning of this video, in fact, all of the B-roll you're gonna see in this entire video was shot at f5.6, which means you should be able to achieve something very similar just using the kit lens which came with your camera. How, I hear you ask? Well, it's actually all to do with distances. You see, the closer you are to the subject, the shallower the depth of field will be. And once you learn to be able to manipulate those distances, you can create really nice bokeh really quite easily without relying on a super fast aperture. Now, I've got a slightly strange but really useful demonstration for you, so stick with me. Now, you can do this anywhere and I want you to give it a go. So find something, anything, that's just over arm length away. So I'm gonna use this log here. Close one eye and then hold your finger up just in front of that object. Now what I need you to do is to focus on your finger. Don't change the focus from your finger, just keep looking directly at your finger. But then using your peripheral vision, just take note of how much detail of that thing, the thing in the background, that you can see. So I'm about here, I can see the log, I can see all the detail in it, I can see all the little holes, I can make it out pretty clearly. Now what I want you to do, keeping your eye closed, keeping focus on the finger, just bring your finger a little bit closer towards you. Let's go about halfway. Now again, without actually looking at the background, just pay attention to how much of it you can see. And you should notice that it's gone a little bit out of focus. You can see a little bit less detail within that peripheral vision of the thing you're looking at. Now let's bring our finger even closer. Keep looking directly at it, focusing on your finger. And now you'll notice that background thing is going completely out of focus. You've lost all detail and you can't see it as well. That works exactly the same within your camera. You can adjust the depth of field and the out of focus elements just by moving your subject closer to you, AKA the camera. Now, obviously in that example, we had control over our subject. We were able to bring our subject closer to us. However, you don't always have that. So instead, you leave your subject where it is and you simply get closer. You reduce the distance from you and the subject to reduce the depth of field, giving you more bokeh. Easy peasy. Let me show you how it works in real life. We've got that sort of branch sticking out there. It's a couple of meters away from me and then the tree behind it is a couple of meters away from that. It's roughly the same distance from me to the subject as the subject is from the background. Now there's not much out of focus, there's no bokeh, it doesn't look all that great. We're shooting at f5.6. Now I'm not gonna adjust anything at all. I'm not gonna zoom with my, my lens. I'm not gonna change the aperture. I may change the focus, but that's all we're gonna do. And all we're gonna do is close this gap. So we're gonna close the gap between me and the subject. Getting as close as my camera will allow. And as you can see, as soon as I start getting closer, that background starts to go out of focus and we get some much shallower depth of field and some much, much nicer bokeh. So here's another example. If you've got a zoom lens, which I assume you have if you're talking about kit lenses, then you can actually use the zoom to get more bokeh and save your legs. But you're essentially doing the same thing. So just here, there's a bit of a holly bush, which we're focusing on. 
but everything's in focus. You can't really see it. We're shooting at f5.6, so everything's pretty much in focus. So here, what we could do is walk forwards, get close enough to this, and therefore it will blow the background out. Or let's move back. Now this time, rather than using our legs, what we're going to do is just zoom in. And if we zoom in, you can see it will do essentially the same thing. It's effectively reducing the distance between us and the subject, which is therefore giving us a shallower depth of field and blowing out the background, giving us bokeh. Easy as that, and we don't even have to use our legs. Perfect. The distance between the subject and the background isn't the most important element. What is the most important element is the distance from the subject to the background in proportion to the distance from you and the subject. So if you're 10 meters away from the subject and the subject is 10 meters away from the background, it's the same, you're not gonna get great bokeh. So let's say in that example, you can't move the subject further away from the background. It's always gonna be 10 meters, so we have to live with that. So instead, get closer to your subject, reduce that distance, even though the subject is staying the same distance from the background, that distance is now proportionally much larger than the distance between you and the subject. That will reduce your depth of field and give you way more bokeh. Easy as that. And that's it. That really is all there is to it. So if you want to get some bokeh, but you're only shooting with a kit lens, don't fear, you can still get some really nice shallow depth of field with that blurry background for your B-roll just by controlling the distance. Open up the aperture as wide as it'll go, even if that is only f5.6. Zoom all the way in, get nice and close to your subject, and job done. You'll be getting some creamy bokeh in no time at all. And that's it for this video, folks. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, any comments or feedback, put them down below. Do also let me know if you want to see more of these quick tip videos. There's loads I could do about cameras and all sorts of things. So let me know down in the comments below. If you're new here, you did enjoy this video, you want to see a little bit more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. See ya.